Welcome to the Talk Over Podcast, a conversational platform for the DJs, by the DJs, brought to you by Double and Stylus. Swag. Tune in every week to hear us talk about all the things we see, hear and experience as DJs. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by simply searching Talk Over Podcast on either Spotify or Apple Music. All right. It's the Talk Over Clot of the Pod. Pod back Clot in the of bitch. Kurt Stunning and back in this bitch. Back in this bitch and Double is on Zoom chilling on a beach and I'm jealous. <laughs> Say back it's in this good. bitch, bro. I haven't left this bitch for like three and a half weeks now. Yo, I want to be on the beach, here. man. I want to. How do I do this shit? Bring me digital in. Digital background. Digital background on Zoom. It's amazing. Right. So I can. So I can. I can change this. So I can see. How do I see my face? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Share screen. Is it that? No. 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 Go down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Participants. No, where it says video on the left. Okay. Oh no, that's stop video. Uh, you know what? I won't even do that. I'll just go on gallery view. I just need. There we go. There we go. Jeez. Sorry, guys. Allow us. I know we've just started the cast, but we're on. we are actually on Zoom because Double is a waste man and doesn't have a phone. Yeah, so my isolation's not going very well. Last week I busted my phone. So I'm almost fully cut off from the world now. I've got no WhatsApp. I've got no messages. Um. Yeah, I can't really communicate <laughs> with anybody. <laughs> I can't take you seriously, bro. I mean, the, bro, this is normal. If you, ga- if you guys could see what's going on, yeah, Double's talking about being disconnected from the world and he's sat what looks like Iceland. <laughs> yeah, that's my background. <laughs> and, the aud- and the audio is cutting off. Oh, my days. Fam, can you hear me? Yeah. Right, because basically I'm running off my hotspot because I don't have Wi-Fi at home, so this could get awkward. Harsh. Oh, God, this is going to be long, this one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Apologies <laughs> to everybody listening. I'm almost, we're one week away from being two years deep in this, and the quality of the production has plummeted in the last <laughs> week. <laughs> but no, so basically, yeah, I busted my phone. My phone is completely wrecked, and... um. I'm cut off from the world. So Zoom and FaceTime via laptop are my only two forms of communication. Oh no, I can get on Twitter actually and Instagram from my computer. I can't post anything though, which is annoying because I've got content going out. I can't post about on Instagram. But um, oh well, is what it is. How do I turn you up? <laughs> Use the volume <laughs> buttons, this guy. <laughs> I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, hold on, so, hold on, hold on. Bro, how that- how I've. I've honestly, I'm not even lying. How many weeks has this been now? Is it three weeks or is it four weeks? Three weeks. It was three weeks yesterday. How's your third week in quarantine been? <sighs> Starting to go a bit crazy, fam. Have you left was... the house? You left the house because obviously you go to the studio, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I got, I've got my studio. So the, the studio. I might. I don't know if I've said this before, but I've got my container, which is like five minutes from the crib. Mm-hmm. And basically, all the businesses that are there, they've all like they've all left and gone home. So they sent out they sent out an email and said, "Look, we can still get access as long as people stick to the social distancing." Blah 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 blah. So basically, at first, I I rushed and brought all my stuff home. I was like, "Oh my god, lockdown! Get all my decks out, bring everything back to the crib." And then they sent that email out, and I was like, "Do you know what? It's actually decent having that space because it allows me to actually get out the crib and still be semi productive whilst." Mm-hmm whilst being able to social distance as well at the same time yeah, so like yeah. people so when i go there like there's nobody there bro i'm the only person like on the whole bloody plot it's just me in my container and then i do what i need to do and then come back home so it's like my mm. little es- it's my escape room good stuff but yeah man um <coughs> three weeks I'm, I'm all right bro you know i'm all right though like on and off days some days, I'm, so, like today, I woke up feeling super productive. I watched Diddy's little live thing. He was doing this um, fundraiser thing on his Instagram. Drake was on there talking all this stuff. I was feeling all inspired. I was like, yes, let's go. Made a coffee, sat down, and just and nosedived real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Now I'm just like, yeah, woo. Let's talk about DJ stuff. We're not DJing. Yeah. We're it's, not DJing. Um, it's hard. 
it is a tricky one to stay motivated, bruv, when it's like, uh, by the end of today, it's just going to be the same as yesterday and the same as the last 25 days or however long it's been. But what can, day is it, it man? It can be a bit <laughs> depressing and demotivating, but I'm just like, you know what? As long as I, I've set myself a goal of getting at least one productive thing done a day, okay. one thing done every day. So, okay. and still... that's kind of keeping me motivated. The other good thing is um, I gave up coffee for Lent so Go yesterday on, being Easter Sunday means Lent is over. So I've been back on the coffee. Yes. Um, wow, so that's your first coffee in how long? No, no, no. Yesterday, bro. As soon as I got up yesterday, I had one. So, you can have so it how, long, how, how long? So how long's Lent? 40 days. 40 days? 40 days. Blood fire. Yeah. 40 days without a coffee. I'd just die, mate. Yeah, it was tense. There was, there was a couple of times. <laughs> Um, I, I yeah. hear you know, on the day. I hear, I hear you on the daily productivity stuff. Like, I'm trying to do the same thing. If anything, I'm doing a little bit more still. Like, bro, you've been no- super active. Don't even play it down. You've been getting it in. Yeah, I'm trying to. But do you know what it is? I think I'm just doing that to distract myself from the actual reality of what's going on. But like yeah. every now, and, every now and again, it just sinks in. Like, this is like. This is some historical shit that's going down. Not even in a good way either. But like, we are living through life-changing times bro like the world is not going to be the same after this fam no the mad thing is this is something that they're gonna write about this is like this is something that's gonna stay in history you know how like i I don't know too much about it but they talk about like the spanish flu and how it killed several million people bro it was like 50 million people or something crazy like that but this is this is like another it's obviously not got as extreme as that but this is like another um moment in history where literally bruv the world it feels like anyway it might other countries might be calling back to normal now i don't really have i don't really stay in touch with the news but it feels like the world has just stopped spinning for a minute yeah like, it feels me. like everything's just kind of stopped it's a bit weird um but no definitely man because if you think about the stuff i hate using the word because it's been so it's been used so often since it started, but there's so much unprecedented things that have happened. Bro, that word. <laughs> unprecedented. I hate it now, but it's the only appropriate <laughs> word. But like, there's stuff, bro, there's stuff happening laugh. now that haven't happened since the Second World War. Like my granddad, like the stuff that he had to go through when it was the blackout and things, that is now happening now. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. Mad. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all so, a bit mad, mate. Like, I'd... <sighs> some days I wake up and I'm like, yeah, it's it's cool, man. Everything's gonna be fine. And then other days I'm like, rah, is this shit ever gonna go back? Like, is this gonna go? Back? Is like, is it gonna go? Like, what's normal now? Yeah, like, say, some, con- some, well, country, some, some country, some some country, some countries are running normal still. You know, some places, some chi- places are even China locked down. Has, China has gone back to normal, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. China have gone back to normal. Like they've developed this app now where. It can tell people if they've been in contact with other people that have been sick and whatnot, and like that. They're yeah, just the ahead of the game, in it. No, no, but that's a bit crazy, bro. What they've done with that app because that that app, yeah, it's like a, it's their down, version man. of, <clears throat> it's their version of WhatsApp, isn't it? But yeah, they yeah. also use it as a payment app, so they're actually wiping cash out, okay. and they're using so people have to use it to pay. You have to check your temperature when you're entering certain zones. I'm down for that, bro. If I'm well, down for that, bro. No, you know what? It's in terms of controlling the disease. Yeah, I think it's great measures. But the thing, and this isn't conspiracy either. This is something China are fully open, and the information's out there. Along with so that the messaging <coughs> app, they also track your location of your phone. They're using the cash app thing that they have. It's all this is all like the Chinese version because you're not allowed WhatsApp. You're not allowed social media unless it's the Chinese version. Everyone knows that the government in China monitors it. They all know it's just open and being watched. And they're using facial recognition CCTV to track people as well. And so if you get the coronavirus, they can actually track back who you've been in contact with and tell them to quarantine themselves, basically. So that's in terms of doing that, I think it's very clever. But yeah, I'm down for that side of it. One hundred. Once this bro. is over, it's not going to stop because they had all of this in place before it started. Do you know what okay. I mean? So now we're entering the, the like the science fiction age of 
governments <laughs> following people. Bro, this is real. Like governments nah, following you, people you, you. and tracking people through facial recognition. The thing I find quite scary is like, at the moment, it's illegal. Like it's actually against the law to gather in big groups, right? Which in terms of coronavirus, it makes sense. Let's not all go to the park and kick a ball around because we're going to infect each other. Let's not get 30 people and go and have a barbecue because obviously you don't want to spread the infection. But also you've got to think on the flip side, that means protesting is now illegal. Real talk. So like if the if once once the it's been declared safe and there's no risk of 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 contamination and everyone can go back to normal, bruv. What, like what if they just don't lift it and they're like <clears throat> actually yeah, we're going to keep this group thing for another year because we just in case. Do you know what I mean? Just in case there's another outbreak. Let's I, not I think it's go, I think it's going that way. Bigger than 5. It's going to go and that then, way anyway because unless they come up with the vaccine for it, <clears throat> like they can't let people move too freely. I know. Like, because how but, do but they this know is the mad thing. So what, one one person could have slipped through the net in it and still have it, and then boom, everybody gets sick again. Yeah, but what I'm getting at as well is once everyone's not sick anymore and coronavirus isn't a threat, what if they just say for the next year, actually, yeah, let's keep this group ban in place for another year just to be safe. The government can go and do all sorts of fuckery and put all sorts of laws through. Yeah, true. And what, we can't protest. Like protesters yeah, yeah, can't yeah, be yeah. out and about. Like it would, it's illegal to gather in group, bro. That's to me. So the, yeah, but does the protest stuff even fully work? Like the government are going to do what they want anyway, in my opinion. Yeah, it's true to some extent, but there is a lot of instances where protesting has actually been beneficial. Okay. If if for nothing else, to raise awareness on a mass scale, because people protesting and stuff, it makes it onto social media, which means more people are aware. I'm, I've always True. been on the fence with protests because I'm always like, oh, it's a bit pointless yeah, yeah, because same. nothing ever happens. But I get, I get putting the message out in that, that actually, but yeah, yeah, I hear that. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? But in, yeah, lot, in many <clears> countries <throat> right now, it's illegal to gather in groups, which means protesting is illegal. So if they never lift that law, it just means protesting is done. And like for me, that's why I'm saying we're on the verge of that like science. You know, you see these futuristic films. Have you seen V for Vendetta? No, no, for I've example. not seen that. No. So it's like <laughs> it's no, like it's like set in the future, but the government is super strict. You're okay. not allowed like things like you're not allowed to be gay. You're not allowed to be not Christian. Uh, you're not allowed to basically disagree publicly with anything the government says. There's curfews, <clears throat> and if you break any of those laws, you disappear. You're gone. Basically, uh, they come and get, they come and get you, and then you're gone. One sec, bro. Let me just, I'm just make, I'm just making sure my inputs in right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, so. mate. Yeah, but I don't, I don't I don't I don't know where this I don't know where this is going, man. Like you say, it's unprecedented times, isn't it? Like this could literally go anywhere. I think it's gonna mm. it's gonna be, it's a long road anyway. It's a long road, and they probably can. They, they are gonna have to change the rules. They're gonna have to adapt in some way or another. Like. I just want them to get to the bottom of it, innit? Like, I'm not too fussed. If it means controlling people a bit more and we can actually get on with our lives to a certain extent, I'm all mm-hmm. for it. If it gets to the point where the government are fully trying to control it in the way that you just said, then yeah, it can, it's going to get a little bit peak in that respect. But, yeah. yo. Fam, have, you seen, have you seen the man's film Contagion? Happy to be alive right now. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Have you yeah, seen Contagion? Yes. Yes, I have. I have. Bro, I, wa- I actually watched that the week of lockdown, the first week. Me and the, me and the wife, it. we watched it. I watched it about four days ago, bruv, because it popped up on Netflix. It's and crazy, right? I realised that I'd seen it before. Halfway through, I thought, oh, no, I actually have seen this before. But it's crazy, what's bro. mental is it was like just watching now. Yeah. But exactly. obviously a, a Hollywood version of now because the numbers mm-hmm. are far, far exaggerated to what's happening now. But yeah. I even yeah, noticed... but yeah, but it could yeah, but it could they crunch that into us into a film, bro. Like yeah. how do we we don't know if it's gonna get to that. That's like, well, we're that's we're thing. still we're still in the early days of it and the way this thing spread around the world, bro, in the space yeah. of a couple of months. Like, it f- bro, you know what? It felt like it was a month, and then it was everywhere, bro. Like, it literally, felt like it. I remember seeing that thing on the news where they were building hospitals in China, and you just think, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, it's not coming here, blah blah. Boom. Ne- America, England, France, Spain, Italy, lock off me. I was like, 
countries are just locking up, locking up the doors like that. Like, yo, yeah. we don't know where this is going to go, mate. Like, it what's is... like the death rate in England? I was like, they're averaging like 800, 900 people a day, bro, are dying, man. Really? Like, when it, yeah, when Italy had them numbers, we were posting it all on the news and, like, oh, 900 deaths a day and it's this really bad thing. And now it's, now it's, it's here. And, like, I feel like the, the semi, like, playing it down a little bit. But when it, when it was happening in Europe, it was, it was all dramatic headlines ever. and the worst thing ever. Now it's here, bro. Now, like, <clears throat> I think the last two days was like 800, 900 people a day have died, bro. Like, oh. one of the highest rates there is. It's fucking... I know a few people that have, that have had it, that have recovered. Like, one or two people local that have passed. A few people that have lost their parents. Like, it's right on the doorstep now, mate. Like, literally, mm. it's fucking... Bro, we just gotta try and stay positive, mate. And it's hard, yeah. There's well, everyone's. We're gonna have off days. We're gonna have good days, but we still gotta try and. You still gotta try and push on a little bit in it. Like, what else can you do? Or we're all yeah. just gonna end up super depressed and fucking locked in a cupboard, <laughs> mate. And it's just, just all gonna get peak. Like, it's... bro, I tell you, I tell you what massively has helped down here. I don't know what it's been like in Manchester, but literally, it feels like about the last ten days or so, the weather has been banging like, bro it's been a mate like do want to rub it in like, even more <laughs> until today until today it's felt like summertime yeah trust me it's like everything's cleared up it's like the skies have cleared like I've, I, I live on the keys yeah so you can walk around on the front and like all the ducks are out chilling the water's clear the sky's clear it's yeah. like it's like the world is healing bro it's mad isn't it but, yeah it's mental you say that i was chatting with leanne about it and it was like yeah there, I, there was days where there wasn't a single cloud in the sky. Not I'm just one like, cloud, is that, bro. Is that because the factories have shut down? Is that because there's not like a million cars on the M25 right now? Like, is this, mm -hmm. is is it heat? Like, like you say, the weather's proper nice and the birds are out and the f flowers are blooming early and shit like that. Like, Get me. is it all healing because we're all stuck indoors? It's mad. Proper crazy. It's mad. Yeah, imagine if there's some sick conspiracy theory and it's just, they've just done it to control the planet and let it heal and because maybe the end of the world is coming or global warming's going to fuck everybody up. So they just needed a way to like lock, lock it down and let the world like come back together again. That's yeah. a bit, that might be a bit deep for this time in the morning, but still. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to go for a walk, bro. Have you been indoors for I don't know, bro. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy, bro. Man, I've been doing excellent. Like, I mean, like you can see my living room now. It's not very big. Man's been doing my, I've been, I was, I was in here doing my lunges yesterday. I was doing my press ups and that. I've, I've ripped a big muscle in my right titty, man. And it yes. hurts. It I've, been, I, hurts, you know what? Bro. I've actually, my, my exercise has been paused. I was doing it. I was doing, I was doing a push up challenge, trying to get to a hundred push ups in one go. And, um, but I just stopped at the weekend because I slept in. I, I had a drink on the night before and then I slept in and yeah. You've been, you've been <laughs> turning up, you know. This guy's been turning up in the crib, you know. Tell us about <laughs> tell us about your fucking Zoom party. <laughs> oh, mate, so much fun. So I had a Zoom party on one of the days. I feel, no, it was, what day was it? Saturday. It was, fri it was, it was Friday, wasn't it? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Night, little private Zoom party with... Uh, me and just a small group of friends. Nothing. It wasn't like a public live stream or anything. It was literally we. Leanne sent a WhatsApp just around <clears> to a <throat> group of friends, and we were like, "All right, let's just turn up tonight. Let's all drink and da da da." da. So I set everything up uh, in the studio, had it all nice, and yeah, we just we just had a turn up, bro. That's sick, but, um, man. That is, bro. Sick. That is that's the future right there. You know, see that everyone sat in front. So what, like your home, that like your girlfriend's nah, mates, bro, like, no sat one was sat down. Literally, so I had a screen in front of me with everyone, every different window. You can see it like a grid and every different window, people. Bro, half the girls in there are there. To, like, it was starting to look a bit like a, a toned so, down like, version of quarantine so, radio. Like, <laughs> and all, the, all the, literally at one point, all the girls in the party were all but, there twerking. Just for sitting real? there twerking away, bro. It was amazing. Bro, you, you had a sick weekend. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're doing another one. We're doing another one on Saturday, and I'll I'll get a screen capture when they're all up to it, and I'll post it, bro. And you lot will see. You'll be like, wow, this is level. Yeah, you. Yeah, but, you were going in, fam. I rate that still. Quarantine yeah. the, the radio I, in double you know spot garden. You know what I found tricky was finding that balance. I think I said to you said this to yeah, you. Yeah, trying trying to read the crowd. 
Yeah. So it it was a live stream. Oh no, the times. To a private group. But so then I'm not just jumping on and doing a live stream of stuff that I want to play. <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm not in the club. But true, I've got an audience, so I know I need to be playing hits, and I know I need to be playing records they like and know. But I didn't want to go too mainstream and obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The track selection was hot, like it was actually tricky. Plus, I'm like three weeks out of touch. Do you know what I mean? So like, I haven't actually properly jumped on and spun like for. Three yeah, but weeks. do you think? Do you think people are really? Bro, it probably to them. I think people have just been happy to. Nah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like people have just been happy to have a vibe. This is this is one thing I've noticed from all these live streams and these little online party things. Like it's just a release for people, man. Yeah. Like being able to like re-engage with people. Like it's it's actually mad, you know. Like Zoom parties, bro. If you said a couple of months ago, yeah, I'm gonna be DJing to 25 people on my screen twerking in the crib and that you would have laughed that shit right off you know what like, maybe but is this the remember... future is this the future is this the future now do you remember i don't know how long ago it was it might have been like about 18 months ago there was a time when i think it was because there was a time you said to me about one of the clubs it might have even been lo- like way before that but you said to me about one of the clubs you were working for might have been shutting down which meant you weren't going to be working on a particular night of the week or something okay and i I said to you, why don't you just jump on Facebook Live and just do a little thing? Do you remember I said that to you? I think, so. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it was when I first lost. I think it was when I lost that Saturday. It might have been ages. And I got, and I, and I got that a big long, punch. long time ago. And I said to you, well, if you haven't got anything on, jump on Facebook Live and just do a little Saturday night set for people that aren't at the club. Yeah, that would have. Like, that would. Do you know what? It, the fact that if that would have started then, before everybody kind of jumped on it and it's been oversaturated overnight, it could have got a different kind of wave. Imagine. Yeah, oh. that would have been crazy. Still, yeah. I'm enjoying it, bro. Like, I'm I'm actually enjoying, like, not being in the clubs. It's kind of revitalized, like, the way I look at my crates and the way I'm spinning. Like, it's it's yeah. You know what it's like when you play in the clubs and you pl- and you play them consistently three, four days a week. Like, it's easy to fall into that trap. Like, I feel like now you can actually flex your skills a bit more. Like your selection, like your musical knowledge. Yo, like I had the I had the best time yesterday on on Insta Live, bro. What'd you like, do? I I did I, so I do this style of Sundays thing where it's like yeah. it's just like smoother, like cooler edits with like old school stuff and classic jams, like no new shit whatsoever, like mm-hmm. nothing at all. And uh, now that I've managed to figure out a way to get around the copyright stuff, um, I managed to run for two hours for the first time See? with no cut offs, no 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 interruptions. And just the, just just energies, bro. Like you can just flex on a different level, man. Some of the stuff I was playing yesterday, you just won't even get away with it in, in in what the current climate was before this whole thing got locked down. Yeah. So I, I think I think this this lockdown when it when it blows over and people start going out raving again, there's going to be a newfound love and appreciation. I think for music, for DJs, for for having freedom to just be out again. Like whether that'll just die off like remains to be seen in it but that's the way i feel that's why mm-hmm. like the my first setback in a club is gonna be a maza <laughs> you need to record it bro yeah i'm there bro maybe there. broadcast it as well broadcast it on zoom at the same time as doing it <laughs> trust me yeah, i'm enjoying i mean i'm i'm enjoying doing these lives bro. it's it's the only time to literally get a little bit of a release and fucking and just engage the audience man like beforehand trying to get man to lock into a live and all that was near impossible mate it wasn't but near impossible but everyone the... was so busy like yeah do you find the people on instagram though instagram's built for people with a short attention span so like yeah yeah we had this conversation how, yesterday, how yeah. many of those people stayed locked in for two hours yeah it's because true I f- it's true i feel like with with insta you struggle to engage people for 60 seconds on some stuff do you know what I mean like with Instagram I feel like it, the people that just spend all their time on Instagram have very short attention spans yep. they, can't, they can't watch one thing for too long the other thing with Instagram is obviously you can't play someone's live in the background mm-hmm. do you know what I mean so if, if like cool Stylus is on live 
I want to put him on, but do other stuff on my phone when it's not broken. There's ways to do it now, isn't it? Like <coughs> Google, Google Chrome have got their thing where you can play it on your laptop and stuff now. So like, right. I, I just make sure I'm shout, I'm, I'm shouting out during the stream, like, yo, if you've got Google Chrome, like, plug this into your TV kind of thing. And yeah, people yeah, didn't, yeah. and a lot of people didn't know. So like, you've ri- to keep your streams active, bro. What I've noticed is you've got to be on the mic and you've got to be pushing it, mate. You've got to be engaging people and getting them, getting them to share it and just build a little bit of a train like it's definitely a case of like solid followers like you need yesterday for example i had 700 800 people pass through my stream but i might mm-hmm. have only had like 60 people at one time watching it right so that yeah, shows yeah, yeah. how quick people are in and out in and out in and out in and out but then only like 50 60 people are in there at once but like I'm happy with bro 50, 60 people whatever like I'm just vibe. it's just a vibe innit you just want to vibe it I'm just glad it's not getting cut off so you can just have, keep your energy moving and allow people yeah, to yeah, get yeah. involved in it like I'm, that's all I'm bothered about is being able to get around this stupid copyright if it's 10 people if it's 50 obviously if I can, I can get a couple hundred in there I'm gassed but yeah, yeah, yeah. like you say Insta's a, Insta's a tough one there's only a handful of DJs I've seen that are holding it like that Silk big up Silk 500 people in his live on on Friday night. That's it. G- going ham, he's rocking dub plates. All it like day day another one. He had a fair few hundred people in his. Um, Nathan Door, I think he had like a thousand plus fifteen hundred people on his Facebook. Like right. I'm, I've, I've been trying to tap into all of them really. Like yeah. that, which is one thing I wouldn't, I've never have got to to do before. Because yeah, you don't yeah, get to yeah. go out and see all these DJs. Like so, being able to like tap in and see all these guys and. I think it's sick, man. I, I actually see, I seen a tweet this morning that hit home. I can't remember who even tweeted it now, but it said it said uh, the wild shit about DJing live and all this so close, no editing, real actual skills. Um, is that a lot of fuzz has fizzled, and the talent in every way has prevailed. So good to see DJs do old old routines and the legit music that they enjoy. Yeah. Like it's fully stripped it back, mate. Like. It's dope. I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. I'm gonna keep doing them. Seeing a few busters hating on DJs doing lives, but for fuck's sake, man. Man, are DJs, bro. If you can't go on live and bust, a f- <laughs> if man can't go on live and bust a couple of tunes, like what? What can you do? Yeah, you should charge them though. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting into this. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen this. De- this debate's been floating around on socials all week, mate. I've seen a few people. Bro, we had it last week. Few people we make it, the conversation. Few people making week, money, you know. Right. Yeah, good. Man, I'm making good. money, bro. Some people are making oh, money on there. Like, I think I think giving people an option, like after looking at it all week, I think if the option's there, a man want to tip you and throw a bit of peas in there, cool. Like, it's not so, like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and ask man to. I'm not gonna for me. I'm not gonna charge people in it. But if I can put an option there and people, like you say, if man are in a club and they want to dash you twenty pound for a money pull up, great. But it's not. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm, yeah. but I'm not going to say to you, "Yo, send me twenty pound," kind of thing. So that yeah. I think that's going to be my approach um, when I launch like my Twitch and my YouTube and stuff. Like the option will be there, but it's not a thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, "Yo, donate me money." Yeah. yeah um. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm like, don't get me wrong, I'm not struggling like that. Like I've as, got money in the bank. As but... I've been thinking about it, the more time's gone on, I feel like the monetization of streams shouldn't necessarily <clears throat> fall on the customer if that makes sense so mm-hmm. just for example like my my stance on it previously was like people shouldn't be doing full live stream sets all the time for free because I hear that. I hear that. this is how we make a living and if everyone's doing it for free nobody can charge but sure. then i kind of i have been thinking about it more and i think private sessions sponsored by brands could be a good way to go in in, in terms of you sell the session to the brand okay. and that's how the dj makes money so people or not even private sessions but live streams sponsored by a brand do you know so what i mean what, all these branded the ones bro like all these i've <clears throat> seen so many people do branded ones this week and i'm thinking are these men being paid for all this like a lot of these brands still have money so yeah. Marketing budgets, brother. They've got huge marketing budgets, some of these big brands. Like, like if a brand turns around and just says, yo, we'll give you, I don't know, X amount, 200, 300 pounds, do a stream for us on a Saturday night. Like, that's going to change the DJ's life right now, mate, when yeah. no money is coming in. Proper. Like, I would bite someone's hand off for 300 pounds a week on a Saturday right now, bro. Yeah, 
Like, yeah, but the, also the thing is, it's important to remember if a big brand approaches you, don't get gassed and do it for free. Yeah, 100. Because 100. they're only doing it. It comes back to that thing that we had the conversation about DJing in shops for free. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? The brand mm-hmm. is only doing it because they want customers and they know mm-hmm. if they get you to do it, they can get customers. Like they're not, they're not, yeah, I was going to say, they're not stupid. Like They're tapping up these DJs where they see their lives pop in <clears> and that's going to bring yeah. better awareness to the plate for them. Like. I agree. I did one on Saturday for a venue, which was which was popping, and then we had the chat afterwards, and they were like, "Oh, it was amazing!" Blah blah blah. I was like, "Look, I'm happy to do this, but we like we're gonna have to talk." Yeah, yeah, there's got like there'll have to be a conversation kind of thing. I just said to them, "Look, I'd do this every Saturday for you, man, if we could come to an agreement." Yeah. So like, I've left that open to them, but I hear you. Like at the end of the day, if this is the future. We still got to make some money out here, but like the bills mm-hmm. ain't going to stop. Like This is the thing. All the while the clubs are closed, we do need, as DJs, I don't mean just me and you, I mean the DJ community needs to think of ways to start making money. Because mm-hmm. yeah, this self-employment package that's coming from the government is going to be cool, but you it's need like how, to make How long are they going to well? cover us, bro? Like This is the thing. What if this goes on indefinitely for, say, like another year? Are the government going to fund... Like they're gonna backdate well, us so our three months payment. Like how to, long can how long can that go on for? A, up to two and a half grand a month. For right? how long though? Well, for <clears throat> it's coming in June, so that would be three months. Yeah. If they're not lifting the ban after July, I think they're looking at it doing another one, basically. Okay, 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 okay. They're looking at post out another one. But again, So like that'll Chloe be a monthly payment after that, week. right? That'll be a monthly huh? pay that'll be a monthly payment after that going forward though. After the yeah, I imagine one. so because they'll have the list of people that they need to pay and they'll have okay. the system set up. But it's right. like Chloe was saying last week was it's a very complicated system to set up. There's 100%. so many holes in it that can be picked apart and used for fraud. Yep. They need to figure all of this out, which is why the payments aren't due till June. Okay, I but, get um, that. I get that. Yeah. I get that. It was a bit crazy, man. Anyway, but we just got to try what, and there's... use the tools that we, we got to try and use the tools we've got, bro. Like I see, man, winning out here, like Tory Lanes, bro. Prime example. Like some yeah. people are winning off this situation, and I, and I respect Proper. it, man. Like, bro, I locked into his first quarantine radio, yeah, and it wasn't even yeah. a quarantine. It wasn't even a before it was even a thing. It wasn't even yeah. a quarantine radio. I remember just locking in. He was fucking about playing songs, getting getting people on his live, and he. He was just talking quarantine this and whatever else and like watching the way that grew to the point where it's the biggest thing on the internet, bro. Like it's the Mental. biggest thing ever on Instagram. He's broke all records. <clears throat> I think he had 350,000 in there. Obviously, he's pushed it a little bit with um, like the sexual stuff and he ended up getting... But, but to the point where the CEO of Instagram is talking about him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they tried to lock, they tried like they they tried to lock him off, bro. Like they tried to lock him off, and they let they let him back on, bro. After a yeah. girl was sucking a fifty foot dildo. No, no, no. It was it was like a gummy bit. It, it was, was like a gummy a, sling. It was like a jelly worm thing. It wasn't a bro, dildo. It was bro, like a whatever, sweet. Mate, it looked like what you see, remember that old film Tremors. It looked like one of them, mate. <laughs> it looked like one of them, bro. It looked like a giant fucking alien, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I, th- I think after that, lo- um, they locked him off. But the CEO wasn't even like, he's come back on, mate. Do you know what I mean? We'll let yeah, you off yeah, this. Yeah. We'll let you off this time. They couldn't. No, but you know what? I think him. it is. It's important they keep the nudity and stuff off there because there yeah, yeah, is that's under too 18s much. watching. Exactly, it's too much. Like so, it, <clears throat> either that or have some kind of. I don't know. I don't know if he can do the age block, but yeah, Tory Tory Lanes is definitely winning with it. Swarms is definitely winning with it as well. Yeah, yeah. Swarms like, is like the UK B Tech version of Tory. <laughs> but bro, no, you know what? Like, it's it's mad because he's properly just copy and pasted the format, yeah, but he's making it work. Yeah, like we man. See, we see it a hundred times a day with DJing. Happens mm-hmm. all the time. Someone will innovate and come up with a sick idea, yep. and then. Swarms There's went a... quiet as well, man. I feel like he was in a patch where people were kind of on his back a little bit. Like, you know what? After, the, after, after going the gas on the, works the gas on, works, exactly, it man. Kind of shut him down a little bit because I think I think the story about that was he was super high. And yeah, so yeah, he yeah. basically wasn't he very just wasn't on it, and he just didn't come across very intelligent in the gas works thing. Oh, but God. I feel like he's kind of just accepted that now. And I've seen yeah. the banter between him and Alhan on Twitter. And it's like... 
just become an accepted thing now. And it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's he's just, he's found his, he's found, he's found a little pocket there, bro. He's found his little pocket yeah, and he's made but it work. The only problem is with Tory Lanes, people, he's obviously just become independent and he's just got out of his deal now. Yeah. Just yeah, released yeah. a project, which is going to do quite good numbers. Mm-hmm. And, the people that are there, he's got a good foundation of people that know he is a sick artist. So what Tory Lanez yep. is doing with Quarantine Radio, I feel like will translate into sales and a fan base. With Swarms, 100%. I feel like it's different with Swarms for some reason. The people are there just for the Instagram show. Yep. They're there just to see twerking and just to see all kinds of behavior. If Swarms was like, Here's my new single. If he did a whole evening where he's like, here's my new music, go stream yeah. it. Da, da, da. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. many people would engage. So no, that's I where Swarms, I feel like, is falling a bit short because he's making a fan base for a particular thing that doesn't relate to what he does. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. So, so it's, how does he turn this? Unless if he comes out the back of this and creates an event where it's yeah. like some kind of mad event where all of this is going on stage... Mm-hmm. And he's the host and he's the performer and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it definitely depends can... on his next move, bro. His next move's got to be a power play, in it? Like, if yeah, he's going to manipulate this situation. Like, Tory, he already had the fan base. He already had the music. And he sent me... He sent me incorporated the music into it, though, because the way Quarantine Radio started, it was but like... Doing music. It's a radio format, like yeah. him presenting and doing his sound effects and that. I feel like Swarms just went rags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cut out that he cut out the radio entertainment part, like and Tory, he was doing other bits. He had people on there singing and got like before the twerking started, it was completely different. Like Chris yeah. Brown's jumping in and out of there, Drake's jumping in and out of there, Danny Lay's in there, like all these famous. He's bringing all these fr- all these fav- all all these famous friends were jumping <clears> in and out of the chat all the time. Like it had a bit more, it had proper substance to it. Like that's that's why it stuck on a different level, man. Yeah, so has Swarms had any artists coming through on his thing? Because I've not seen it, possibly. That's, but that's I, what I can't he needs to it. start doing. I think he needs to start getting more and more people. Like he needs, he does need to switch it up a bit because at the moment, cool, it's all entertaining and that. But give it another week where everyone's been watching every day. I think it's already it's started cool. flipping on a bit of a negative one from what I've seen because some girl was on there like rubbing a palm up in the camera, like throwing hundreds and thousands <laughs> all over down her knickers and that. What like the sweet things for yeah, ice cream? Bro, bro, it bro, it went viral on Twitter and I, I seen that and it's just like there's a there's a line in it, don't go over it, because if you start tipping down the other way, you might come out of this with nothing, bro. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. be careful in it, like how far you go. Like Tory knew he hit that limit, he got the telling off and he pulled it back in and he finished great. Like the night of his the night his album dropped, he finished super strong, bro. Like and yeah. he's come out of it shining like he knew. And then, like, the same girl that got him in trouble come back on and she whipped the thing out again. And he's like, locked her off, mate. It's like, you're not sending me back to jail. <laughs> Cut the bitch <picture> off. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think Swarms is on a, he's, he's on, he's on a, he's on a line here now where it could, it could topple, man. He just needs to be careful, I'd say. But yeah. I rate he it, man. To... I rate the hustle, bro. I rate it. If man could come up with inno- innovative ways <clears throat> to engage an audience and, like you say, people have got time on their hands, man. People have it's got time right and now. That's, that's the good thing. When there's when this is all over, people will look back at what they've done and who entertained them. And I think like a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, Swarms' thing was sick during quarantine. Like, yeah, I had a proper good time 100. watching it and that. Hmm. So, well, yeah. the future of music, mate. We'll have to see where, where this goes because man ain't going to be making money off touring anytime soon. So like, a lot of the income for these artists comes from merch, touring, shows, all that's going to be so far off. Like, this kind of thing. Like, Tory had Siroc ended up sponsoring it and whatnot. Like, he's making money off that. Like, yeah. I, I think people really need to find ways to, like you say, make money out of this new this new age of industry. Like, Yeah. I don't, bruv, you know what? I wouldn't like to be certain artists right now. I'm telling like, you, bruv. Like, you really... Or like, labels, bruv. How, how are the <clears> labels <throat> even making money? Because one thing that I found surprising is apparently streaming numbers have dropped. Yeah, yeah, I'd say I was. I didn't. I thought they might have gone up. I thought they would have gone through the roof because what's everyone? What, what else is everyone else doing? I think it's a it's a mentality thing. Like you get up, you put your music on. Like people, like people are thinking a little bit different in it. They're locked in the cribs. Like I don't want to listen to music every day. I'm doing my streaming and that, mm. but 
like sometimes when I'm in the crib pre quarantine, I might be thumping rhythm in the yard and I'm singing and I'm catching a vibe. I'm not I'm not on that wave every day right now, bro. Like you're yeah. up and down, you have your moments, do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, I definitely agree on, on like I can see where it's definitely took a drop. But at first I would have I, I was the same as you. Yo, streaming numbers are going for the roof, everyone's gonna be streaming, but now we're actually yeah. in now we're in this thing and we're a couple weeks deep. I can see why they, they they've took a little bit of a hit, but Where's the money going to come from, man? Like, what's going to... It's going to be interesting, isn't it? Like, only time will tell where this is going to end up, really. Mm-hmm. We're just going to have to try and roll with it, bruv. But like you say, you're really seeing the artists now that I've got a little bit more about them and I'm making something out of nothing. And yeah, you're going yeah, yeah, yeah. to see some that are just going to, like, completely fall by the wayside a little bit. Like, it's, yeah. a, it's, it's testing times, bro. For DJs, for artists, for anyone in this game. Like, yeah mad it's all mad bro it's all mad what are we what are we gonna fucking talk about in a couple of weeks bro, <laughs> like, <laughs> we're gonna be swapping recipes mate we're gonna be talking about what we've been cooking and swapping recipes and also cooking yo t- yo listen man's man's made a couple of meals in the crib you know uh made a couple of, uh, so made a i was couple... bantering you yesterday on the phone about nando's being closed <laughs> yeah, we, we tried we tried making brownies yesterday and they, they were absolutely horrific Yes, um, you were missing a magic ingredient, bruv, if you're making brownies and it didn't turn out correctly. Yeah, no, these these just didn't cook right, man. We we Yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. I would have posted <laughs> the picture on social media, but I, I would have got buried in it. So, yeah. <laughs> but the, but, but the, the jerk chicken came out banging the other week. Oh, yes. my days. All right, bruv, one for the vegans, yeah? And I showed you this yesterday, didn't oh, I? Oh, my like, God, this guy has yesterday. been cooking the deadest foods. <laughs> No, 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 bro, this was amazing. We had barbecued watermelon. And even you, when I showed you on the plate, and I said, what does, what does it look like? You were like, yeah, that looks like a steak. Yeah, only because you've got an Android. <laughs> <laughs> only because you've got a dodgy-ass camera on your phone, fam. No, that's it's it. on my laptop. It's the, that's, it's the that's HD like a... laptop camera, bro. That's <laughs> nah. fucking 4K imagery. That that, but, that, um, that it looked under that dark dodgy light in your kitchen with the dodgy camera mixed together. That looked like a fillet steak. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, but in real life it looked like it as well. But no, nah, trust me, absolutely banging, bro. So yeah, if any vegans listen, shit was sick. Yeah, hills with, hills with your recipes, guys. Like what you what well, are wasn't, you man, wasn't my recipe. What, what are you man cooking right now? Watermelon. What, I've what, actually been yeah. I've been eating better than I normally would. To be fair, I've been snacking a lot more. I must say. I think okay. I've been eating worse, bruv. I've been I've been eating worse. Like usually, I'm extremely healthy, bruv. I think I've had at least two packets of crisps every day. That's not that bad, bro. You're, yeah, but you you you're generally a healthy eater, innit? it? So it's not that bad. Like I, I probably had, I probably had two packets of crisps a day since I was fourteen, mate. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so try that one. Like generally, like when you say you've had a bad day, you've you've had half a tree. Do you know what I mean? Like. Mad. yeah this Mad. is true this is true but yo man we keep it moving we keep it moving that's all we can do bro another week another week under the belt three weeks quarantine probably another seven or eight to go I reckon before we start seeing any kind of move- movement you think you think I we're t- gonna get to ten, ten weeks I, I think it's I, I think it's gonna be a while bro yo I'm seeing man mm. talking about going out at the clubs this summer and I just can't see it bro I just no. can't see it how we're gonna be back in a club anytime bro, you soon. You know what I'm. You know maybe I'm maybe even well. maybe even this year, bro. Like little bars or whatever, maybe. But actual clubs, mate. I there's gonna be there's gonna be some it. trouble, bro. If it, I tell you, if it goes past summer and the clubs aren't open, yeah. some clubs are never opening again. Yeah, I hear, it, bro. I hear it. That this is the thing. Like it's. I don't think people are understanding. I I tweeted last night and I got some white abuse. I was like, look, I, keeping it real. I just don't think nightclubs are going to open this year. Like maybe, maybe that's pushing it. Yeah, I might be completely wrong, but mm. we're not even in the peak of what what's going on right now. So I think we're reaching it now, aren't we? The two week period. But we don't. But we don't know until we see a drop. Well, yeah, like, yeah, how do true, we know what true. the peak? Like we don't know what the peak is. So yeah, and the numbers are bad right now, and I'm not seeing it letting up, mate. And it's getting closer to home. Every like every every day, it's getting closer. Well, the to thing home, is, man. I read I read that in China. They managed to get out of lockdown in 11 weeks, but oh, there you go. they were on a full lockdown. Exactly. You are not allowed out your house lockdown, not <coughs> even for food. 
They were believe- sending what they were doing. Yeah, the military were sending packages to one person per neighbourhood, and that person was responsible for distributing yeah, yeah, seen in the neighbourhood. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that's that. That's a proper lockdown. That's the bro. thing. One Eleven weeks, lockdown. bro, for a full lockdown, and we're three weeks in, and it's not even a lockdown, it was, bro. Was, bro. No, that's it. It's it's a, an advised quarantine. There's still people out and about and doing all sorts. Like, like I don't get why they don't just lock. The t- like I don't understand. We got in this position in the first place because we never locked it off, bro. I've seen, I watched some of the stuff on the telly and they talk about the curve of, like, the rate of, of the rise of the disease and all that. And, like, places mm-hmm. like in South Korea and that, bro, they got, like, like they had, like, 10 cases and the whole country got locked down. Yeah, it's, the, it's completely different in those cases, though, because I'm not actually sure about South Korea. No, but, but why, like, they, no, I mean, in, in regards to the, the reaction to <laughs> do something about it, do you know what it's I mean? A lot, it's, it's a lot easier in countries in that part of the world. And, like, communist countries, for example, in China, they can just say, right, no one leave your fucking house and no one is leaving because the punishments are so severe. It yeah, but put some it, punishment it, in place then, man. Yeah, but then you've it, got... It's, it's, it's the future, the future of the world is at stake, bro. Like that That's very true, but it is tricky in the case of... It's funny because I was seeing so many people, like, when this was starting to happen and the lockdown was being advised, so many people saying, why don't you just let the military <clears throat> take over? Make it martial law, put a curfew in place and make it illegal to go out after 5 p.m., shut people in. It's Dubai have done dangerous, that. Like, Dubai have done for, that, and they get away with it. They've got a curfew from eight o'clock at night. Like, who's done that? I know they've done it in Jamaica. Dubai, it for the next... Dubai, Dubai, bro. Oh, Dubai as well. Yeah. But that's that's what I'm saying. Countries with with strict governments. I mean, not saying Jamaica has, but Dubai, for example, where it's a very strict government and they're known for having strict, like harsh punishments for things. They can do that. But in a country like England, <clears throat> you can't really do it, bro. They don't have the resources. And half the country don't respect the authorities like that anyway. But then if you that. start handing over the power to the military, that's very dangerous territory in a country like this. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yep. in a democracy where like we are supposed to be free people, for them to suddenly just be like, yeah, cool, right, the military's in charge now. Like I feel like for the better of the country, of though, bro. Like for the better of the country, uh, uh, bro. It has to. It, like you can't. You sometimes it's not about the freedom. It's not about us now. There's a bigger no, no, picture. No, this is true. In terms of battling this virus, I would agree. But again, it comes it comes full circle back to what we were saying earlier, is that's allowing them to have military power in the like do you know what I mean, like martial law in the country. And then what if they decide, going back to the conspiracies, what if this is all a power play and they're like, right, we've got the we've got martial law now, we've managed to take control with absolutely no resistance. Let's keep control. Yeah, I hear that. I Do you know what I mean? It's it's the type of shit you can see in movies, bro. I feel like, like I feel like if they locked it off though, like people would listen. But then if it got to the like the, the people ain't stupid. Six months down the line, people would start. Yeah, rebelling. but what, what but what you're gonna do if you're told if you leave your house, you're going to a military prison and there's tanks rolling around your town and there's blooming Humvees pulling up outside your house. If you leave the house, you get a bag over your head and j- dashed in the back of a Humvee. Yeah, but then how you look at place. How many you, people are leaving? Yeah, but then you look up you look at these countries that have these kind of laws in place and now they're out of lockdown and, and back running yeah, yeah, again. which is which is true. Which so is it works. And that's that's the good side of the argument. I'm just playing devil's advocate, do you know what I mean? I don't necessarily believe As always. <laughs> yeah, well you have to. To have a conversation you kinda of have you. to. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. No, I hear it, man. I hear it, I hear it. I'm just saying in in terms in terms of allowing the military to just take over like that and having such we're too we're laws. too lax, bro. In my opinion, that's all it is. I feel like we're too lax. <clears throat> I feel like the approach to it was too lax. It could have we could have yeah. we could have nailed it on way earlier, and he was holding back and, and holding back and holding back. And my man's up on the stand talking about I'm shaking hands with people that have got coronavirus. Now he's in there with coronavirus. Almost making a joke. Fucking about it. Yeah, yeah. like. Did and you did you see the did you see the thing silly. that went out on Twitter? last week the jamaican prime minister <clears throat> nope i don't think so she was she basically said it right she was so in jamaica they have a thing where obviously they get a lot of hurricanes and and they get like proper storms and stuff really bad storms there so it's kind of a known thing in jamaica that you have enough food to lock yourself in for two weeks if you need to do you know what i mean because okay. if a tornado or a hurricane storms through the island and fucks everything up they might be without power and clean water running to their house for two weeks before they get the infrastructure back, right? This Mad. this is a thing in Jamaica. It might really happen. Like a lot of the Caribbean islands, 
they have that in place. People have supplies because, yeah, one bit of bad weather could wipe out your half of the island. So you've got literally no no sewage, no water running in. Do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Nice. The Jamaican my prime minister did a press conference and was like, look, you lot were all warned. Make sure you've got your two week rations ready in case there's a hurricane coming. It's not a hurricane. It's this disease. We're going to be locking you down. Make sure you've got your two week rations ready. Like, okay. don't go to the shops. Don't go to the pharmacy. Like, don't be out your house. Stay in. It's the only way we're being. And she was just upfront about it, bruv. Like, this isn't time for partying. This is time for getting serious and fucking yeah. locking your doors. So yes. yeah. I feel like that needs to be implemented in the UK, but to a point where it's not like, right, go out and panic by everything. Mm-hmm. I feel like they need to be like, right, we're going to lock the doors for two weeks to get rid of this thing. So on this date, you will not be allowed out anymore. So go out, get your shopping. Do you know what I mean? Warn the supermarkets to make sure that they've got enough stuff and they've got the right system in place so it doesn't get stormed. Um, it's kind of like when the lockdown I mean? first first came around, bro, and everyone rushed around, mate, and everyone was panic buying and all the supermarkets were our madness. Like, And then have you seen, did you see all the pictures afterwards of people throwing food out? Yeah. Yeah. Fucked, bro. People just throwing food away because they panic bought and now they the can't to- eat the, it. Bro. The toilet roll rush. No, but it? even, there was so much food. There was a place where I saw literally bins, photos of bins, full of food that had gone off because people had panic bought, didn't have enough uh, space in their fridge or freezer, left it out and it had gone off. So yeah, just dashing yeah. tons of food. Oh, Shit mate. country, bro. Shit people. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's enough talking for the for, for on that one for today. <laughs> yeah, well, let's leave it on that positive note. I'm shit sure. country, shit people, wasting food, wankers. Oh, I'm, moving to, I'm moving to Jamaica. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back to the studio and do some test streams today. I'm working on a little project in that, so hopefully Good I should be, able to, should be able to tie all that up. Something to keep me ticking over and keep me entertained. Get yeah. me. So yeah, man, I'm gonna try and stay active. I've got on. I've got a secret project I'm working on too. I can't yeah. wait to get out of the bag. Woo! Positive movements, yeah. my guy. Come on. Exactly. Exactly. That's all we can, so, yeah, we can let's, do, bro. Let's end 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 on a positive note because I feel like we took a bit of a downward curve towards the end of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but the, the, yeah, but this 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 is the thing. Like normally we we would try to keep it positive, but this this is the reality of, of the situation, this bro. Is like ever real life. This is real life shit now, bro. Like we have to touch on it because. Like you say, we're, we're we're DJs. We talk about DJ stuff, and this is what DJs are having to deal with. This is our yeah. This is our reality, mate. So, yeah, man, 100%. we got we got a touch on it. But yo, stay productive, my G's. Keep streaming. Yeah. Charge people. Charge them, <laughs> motherfuckers. Get your yeah. get your pay get your PayPal up. Your cash get app, your PayPal, whatever it's get called. Get your cash app. Go and twerk on Tory Lanez's quarantine radio. That'll give you some cash. Go and sprinkle some hundreds and thousands over your private parts. Yeah. Start <laughs> swallowing gummy bears at a ridiculous rate. That'll get you viral. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe that gal was dashing hundreds and thousands all over her. Um, the mad yeah. thing is, bruv. What I've is going fo- on? I've been following that girl on Instagram for a while. I'm a bit of a pervert. I'm not going to lie. But, um... She she was the one I remember. She went viral doing some madness to a cucumber. Do you remember the cucumber challenge? Oh my days! Is that and the she same was sat girl? In the car. She was sat in the car and she did it to a, yeah, mad. Yo, one thing, one thing. Yeah, we'll leave it on the note of. There's some thirsty gal out on Instagram, mate. <laughs> Bruv. Yes. What is, is? I have seen some shit this week. The thing is, right? I was. Uh, I, I won't say who it is just in case they don't live because it was a private conversation. So just in case they don't want it out, but it's a, pu- it's a public person, right? So people might find this out, but I was chatting with a friend who during this time, it's just so sick. He's been doing online courses and he's nearly got some mad psychology qualification through the time in isolation, bro. He doesn't Man. have any children. He doesn't have a missus and he lives by himself, but he's, um, he's gone to his mum's house for the isolation, right? So, um, he's not completely on his own, but he's spending the time bettering himself, and he's Good doing a stuff, psychology. <clears throat> he's doing a psychology. I don't. It's not a degree, but he's doing a psychology qualification, and he's learning all sorts of stuff, bruv. And I feel like 
that's sick. At the end of it, he's yeah, going to be sick. like, yeah, during during isolation, I, I bettered myself. I learned a new skill. Bro, there's some people that literally, they're going to come out of this and the most they've achieved is, oh, I made it onto Tory Lanez's quarantine radio and twerked. Yeah. And poured Le- milk on myself. Bro, legit. Legit, That's going to be like their biggest accomplishment. I'm telling you, bro. It's a bit That's mad. That's mad. Like, what I'm going to go the- and learn French this afternoon. <laughs> I'm not. I oh think I said, did my I say, God. Did I say last week? Did I say it last week that when this yeah, started, said I was, was like, I'm going to learn French. I'm going to get a degree. I'm going to read 18 books a week. And bruv, I am so sick on the Xbox now. It's flipping unbelievable. <laughs> guy's Untouchable. Got his, guy's got his Xbox. ranking points up in that. Oh I'm about God. to turn into a gamer. I'm not even lying, bruv. I'm going to turn my Twitch into a gaming site. Oh, listen, these kids are making more on, on Twitch yeah, than any of us are making from DJing. So, yeah, listen. But believe I me, am... bruv, I'm getting sick on the Xbox and I'm going to start gaming publicly. Get it done, Show my people G. how it's done. Get it done, Can't fun. touch me on this thing. All right, well, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun, my guy. I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to your pit. You know, if you could see <laughs> Double's face right now. Was, oh mate you know what my guy yeah. looking rusty out here cause caveman status I've got to do some facetiming later as well and it's looking at look how long that beard is yeah the beard is long mate like that shit's gonna catch obstacles in the wind <laughs> madder madders yeah. madders hashtag right. talk over pod clart on yes. twitter at talk over pod follow us on twitter and instagram yes sir and we'll um, fucking see you on the other side. We'll see you in week four. Yes. that's And it's our birthday. Next weekend, next week, sorry, next Whoop. week's episode is our second birthday <laughs> episode. That's some shizzle. Yeah, man. We're going to try and get some guests on and that. Now we got on. We can have a Zoom party. Woo! Yeah, man. Zoom party. We're going to have fucking party poppers and all that. You get me? We're Good nearly shit. two. We're Can't nearly two. That. We're, We're nearly, nearly two, two and 30 episodes off. <laughs> 16 episodes in and we're nearly two. We're, 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 100, we're 104 weeks in, but we've only got 70 episodes. <laughs> yeah, somehow. That's, Do the maths. That, that shows how consistent we are. <laughs> yes, we are now anyway. So All yeah, right. hashtag talk over pod Clark. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and follow because we need the attention right now. We're not doing anything else. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> Safe. Bitch. <laughs>